What's going on guys? Another video, three weeks in a row. This time, as promised in the last video, we got Mel Diva returning once again to this channel and uh, yeah, she's gonna be cutting my hair. Um, yeah, she's gonna become my hair. With those, are you gonna be cutting it with, with your fingers? With that sharp? Watch out! I feel like we're gonna be here gonna forever. Be a whole new person. If you're like me, um, you know, after all this lockdown, you probably got, well, you got, you probably got a lot of hair. You're lucky. You could just like grow your hair long, like your hair's already long, right? It takes time. Yeah. Okay. I don't remember last time I cut my hair, but it's. I don't want to see this. <laughs> I got one question for you though. Huh. Um. You have a hair phobia. How do you do this? How are you yeah, going to be able know. to do this? I think I'll be okay. I have exceptions to my hair phobia. This is one of them. As long as I don't see his hair uh, near any of the food that's going in my mouth, then I'm okay. If you'd like to I'm kind okay. of understand what she, what her hair phobia is like, here's a little clip. I, I will go outside and get my hair. Oh, <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong? My hair is on the windshield and I can't deal with it. Why? I can't. Why, I can't. why can't you deal it's with so it? It's so triggering. Oh, it's just like flapping in the wind. And there's one on the mirror. Mm -mm. Oh, that's, okay. Well, let's go. Let's go. Can I get it off? I don't know. Can well, you? another one just came off my head. I have a hair problem, obviously. You already know. A hair phobia? Telling, telling the viewers. It like, needs to come off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was gross. I thought that was two hairs. It was one long one. Oh, okay. It's like snakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're ready. You got another one, right? Stop. <laughs> we don't move until they're all gone. I think they're all back. My hair is just wet. Let's do this. I don't really know what the contents are. I borrowed this all from my mom because she cuts my dad's hair. Where's uh, this hair going to be flying? All over the place here? Or you, or, or, I didn't plan that far ahead. Maybe a garbage bag? I should probably have shoes on. Oh my god, there's a thing actually in hair salons that they um, always wear closed toed shoes and socks or whatever. Really? Because hairs can actually like infiltrate your your skin or like get into your skin like slivers mm. like it's actually very kind of dangerous oh so yeah it's gross I'm, it's gross should we stuff. both be wearing something on our feet because you're fine because you're you're in I'm front a boy. oh okay and step one oh protect yourself this is a smock this is this this should be my bib um, <laughs> when i eat <laughs> he's dressed for the part yeah is this like a regular barber or tell him like what i want done uh, sure. So I, I wanted it to look like I got I got a full set of hair because I got that receding, you know, and uh... So you want it more full? Yeah. Okay, we got you there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Speaking of receding hairlines, a word from our sponsor for today. Today's video is brought to you by Keeps. Did you know that two-thirds of all guys will experience some sort of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35? And the best way to prevent hair loss is to do something while you still have hair left. You used to have to go to a doctor's office to get your hair loss prescription. But now, thanks to Keeps, you can visit a doctor online and have that medication delivered right to your home. Adding to that, Keeps makes it really easy by delivering medication to you every three months. So you never have to worry that you forgot to fulfill your prescription. Now listen, if you've been on this channel for a while, you'll know, got a little bit of a receding hairline. Heck, I thought after chemo, things would get better. Sometimes, you know, miracles happen. Unfortunately, for me, that didn't happen. And so saying that, I'm really looking forward to starting my journey with Keeps because I still got some hairs and I wanna keep them in for as long as I can. Heck, two thirds of you under the age of 35 are going to experience it. And the fact that they have over 100,000 customers and more five-star reviews than any other competitor, they know what they're doing. And to top it off, Keeps was awesome enough to give you 50% off your first order for a limited time when you visit keeps.com slash Pete. So hit the link in the description below, check out what they got. Let's just comb what's left here. Oh. Just choking, oh my God, ouch. 
Coming forward is a technique, I don't know if any of you out there know, um, to make it appear as though you have more hair. Before we make any rash decisions here, let's see if we even need to cut his hair. <laughs> if she really screws up, I'm just gonna shave my head. No, you don't get any control in this. We don't know where this is going today, people. This could go, I don't think you even this could know. literally go up, back, side, or forward, so. <laughs> okay, so honest to God, I don't really know the order of operations here. Where like, do you wet the hair first? The hair first. And then start cutting it in and the then face. go in like with other tools, like a buzzer. Or do you do this after? I thought you said you knew what you were doing. Well, I mean, as you go along in life, you learn, you know, through life experience, um, how to do things the right way. You gotta sometimes just learn the wrong way first. You know, like you think you know how to do something, and then you have you have like the power in your hands, and then like it's like a house of cards. This is intimidating now. <laughs> Oh my god, I really actually don't know where to start. <laughs> yeah, you you look like the guy from uh, Stranger Things. What's the, the sheriff's name? Oh. Down in the comments, please. Here's another thing about me. You haven't even cut a single, I, it's been like 10 minutes, so, and you haven't cut a single hey, piece of hair. Of, you're cutting me off. <laughs> so, I'm left-handed, but I do a lot of things with my right hand, so it's kind of weird. Like, I learn which hand to use as I go. Where do they normally start? <laughs> oh, this is what they do. <laughs> I literally cut one hair. <laughs> oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. You gotta like slide your fingers in and like grab right. a bunch and then chop them off No, here. no, no, <laughs> I, I'm being, I'm trying to finesse. Oh, this is actually starting to gross me out though. Mm, mm, <laughs> no. Oh my god, yeah, that's just the start. Like, okay, don't move. Haircutting 101. Oh <laughs> my god. Hairdressers, I commend you because I can't even, like, commit to one cut. <laughs> oh, this is not a good technique. Let's just, like, go. Oh. Oh. Where did I do that? I don't know. You should oh, wait, jump. I see it. It's forming. <laughs> I actually step. Wait, stop moving. Did I you? Oh, wait, that's not it. Where did, I don't know. I, I did stab you. Yeah, you did. I know. I know somewhere that. there, it's fine. Yeah, let's just jump right into this and just go for it, you know? Like, what's the worst that could happen? We're doing the traditional mullet because that is what, what we're going to do. And I've always wanted to see <laughs> what this looks like on you. Didn't you see my new driver's license? That's the inspiration. There's no saving this, I just realized. Um, what do you mean? Nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Ew, it's getting all over the chair. Oh, no, stop moving. Stop moving. Actually, stop moving. Work environment, so oh, that's show is drunk. going to train. You haven't done shit. Well, Peter, you know what? I don't know what to tell you. You have a lot of not a lot of hair. <laughs> <laughs> not looking too shabby. This is the point at which I knew. I was gonna get really impatient. So, we're gonna have to bring out the big kahuna. What's that? Oh yeah, that's what I wanna do. A fade on the side. Ow. It's working. Wow, ew, nasty. Ugh. Ew, wait, 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 ah. What? You just jammed my ear. So, deal with it. <laughs> wow, oh my god. Ooh, can you can you actually like wear this out? Can we stop at this point and do like right. part two? Cause this is funny. I like this look. No, you don't. Yeah. Ah. Stop, like I said. Stop. <laughs> oh god, this is absolutely disgusting. Terrified right now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I thought my uh, fiance had more respect for me that she would actually give me a good haircut, but instead. Actually, you know what? I can't say because I haven't actually seen it yet, but it definitely doesn't feel like it's it's a good haircut. Does it feel nice though? No. This looks like it feels nice if it wasn't, you know what I mean? Like someone's like just going like scraping your head. Yeah, it's nice except you were just jabbing like inside my earlobe. It's not bad. It probably is. Usually the barber like, you know, takes out a mirror and it's like, hey, is this good for you? 
How's that looking? Not at this salon. Cause guess what? This ain't no salon. This is our living room. <laughs> this off your feet. I'm just gonna use a nice thick paper. What are you towel. done? I think I am. <laughs> Why are you picking my ear with your with the comb? Because I'm trying to get like one little hair out. A little cleanup. Doesn't look bad, honestly. But it doesn't look because good. Because this is kind of like trending. What's trending? Like terrible haircuts? This is actually um very therapeutic for anyone who's been thinking about cutting someone's hair. This side looks really good, if I may say so myself. I really, really honestly. If I was at a bar and I saw you walk up to me with a haircut as fine as this, <laughs> I may let you take me home. <laughs> May. May. How many drinks is it gonna take? Ten bush lights. Right? So you have to be you have to be like, like blackout. <laughs> eight labats. So now we're just in the final stages. Finally. Okay. Uh, get used to it. We're just doing the fin the final finesse. I like to call it the final finesse. I wanna see it. Okay. Just taking. I just wanna see it. I actually have the guts to go out in public like this tomorrow. That would be great. Cause it's not that bad. <laughs> if I have, you just said, if I have the guts to go out like okay, this. Stop moving. Stop moving, please. I'm a jack of all trades. I think I did a good job. I really do. Wait till you, just wait till you see this. Cause this actually looks kind of cool. It's like a summer, you know, summer vibes. This is the first time I think I've ever cut your hair in almost 11 years. And I would have to say, it's a pretty good job. We <laughs> Show it to me, god damn it. <laughs> Give me this beer. Okay, okay. Me too. I can't, you're like looking at yourself, not me. Give me the, oh my god. Can I see? <laughs> Can I see? <laughs> it looks good. It feels really weird on the in the back. Uh-huh. It looks good! It's too shy in front. That's the whole point. It looks better. It looks better like that. Well, Maldiva, what, what can I say? Thank you for a unique haircut. Um You're welcome. Anytime doors open. Doors open. I'll make sure that uh, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to come back for another one. How about I cut your hair next time? Hell no. Come on. No. Oh. It's not happening. It's not a two way street? No, it's yeah. a one way. All right. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Honestly, I can't even say if I enjoyed the, if I enjoyed the video until I look at what actually got recorded. <laughs> Just, I think by tomorrow morning, when you wake up fresh and catch up a glimpse of yourself in the mirror, you're really going to yeah. be happy. I hope so. With this. I really hope so. Yeah. We'll catch you guys next week in another video. Let's make it 444. You guys stay sexy, stay hungry, and of course, get laid. Ooh! <laughs> That's a good Oh, hell yeah! <laughs>